absolutely jam-packed state visit to Kenya, hasn't it? The front pages this morning, you can see uh, the Queen on lots of them pictured with a little baby elephant feeding it, no less. It's actually one of my bucket list ambitions to go there in Nairobi and you can and feed, feed little baby elephant orphans. So sweet. Oh. Mm. Uh, so she's been at the Elephant Sanctuary, the Donkey Sanctuary, and today uh, another busy day for the royal couple. Okay, uh, let's speak to our royal correspondent Cameron Walker. Uh, he will tell you what's been done and what's going to be done today, Cameron. Yes, so yesterday the King actually listened to accounts of the violence which was committed by British rulers 60 odd years ago during the Mau Mau uprising. Buckingham Palace didn't want to go into any further details last night. But a man called Ambrosi Terrace spoke to the Reuters news agency. Now he is the great grandson of a tribal leader who was shot at point blank range in 1905. Uh, and then decapitated uh, by British rulers, um, which uh, after he led a rebellion. So he spoke to the king personally yesterday, and he said that the meeting was cordial, and he appreciated the chance to explain directly to his majesty the injustices against his ancestors. And he said what the king said in his banquet speech a couple of days ago, although he didn't directly offer a full apology, is a start and I suppose, watch this space, put it that way. OK. What are they going to be doing today? Well, today they're going to be flying off to Mombasa, which is on the coast, and they're going to be watching the Royal Marines, who have trained the Kenyan Royal Marines, um, take part in a mock beach landing, um, because... There's going to be like a, there's a 10 strong specialist training team, which has been trained by, which has trained the uh, 26 Kenyan Marines, which are going to be sort of special forces for yeah, Kenya. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of uh, uh, threats to the region, particularly Al Shabaab terror group. And uh, it's kind of the, again, an example of British and Kenya, uh, Britain and Kenya working together, strengthening ties, which is, of course, the whole point of a state visit. You're just seeing pictures here of the Queen yesterday visiting the Brook uh, Donkey Sanctuary, where she got into a bit of a muddle because there was a makeshift stool yesterday and right. she wanted to buy uh, lots of different products. So there was some butter she wanted to buy, some uh, some shawls and, and, and some lovely kind of knickknacks, let's say, some uh, souvenirs of her trip. But she ran out of cash. Oh, no! Very embarrassing. So Nate had to promise to uh, pay them afterwards. Oh, gosh. So well, at least she had any thing. because the late Queen, of course, famously never, never, never carried, carried any cash. Yeah. So, no, she didn't. Um, but so. I imagine she was well, trying to well, stock why, up Why would she be buying a pound of butter for? I mean, why would she be bringing... I mean, that'll be melted by the time she oh. gets home. Well, it's cashew butter, so it's a special kind of butter. Yeah. Oh. I know, very fancy. 40,000 Kenyan shillings she had in cash, uh, but not enough to buy the jewellery, blankets, baskets and cashew butter that the Queen wanted from oh, the Donkey Sanctuary. Yes, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure she uh, paid That's up. That's inflation me. for you, isn't it? <laughs> 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 yeah, well. All right, Cameron, thanks very much indeed for that. We're